let's walk through a study guide for hepatitis. So what's happening during hepatitis is that the, there is a virus that damages the liver cells and the liver is not able to function and do its job as it should. And so there's a lot of signs and symptoms that can happen because of this. We've got the a few stages here during hepatitis. You've got the pre icteric stage, the icteric stage, and the post icteric stage. So pre icteric stage is where that inflammatory all that inflammation is happening and it's starting to build. So we've got inflammation, fever, flu-like symptoms in that pre-icteric stage. Then we've got the icteric stage and that's where you start to see jaundice, which is a very hallmark sign of hepatitis. The NCLEX really likes to test on that. Remember jaundice, that's that kind of yellowing of the skin and the uh, sclera of the eyes. Then you've got the buildup of bilirubin, an enlarged liver. Then you have clay color stools another big one for the NCLEX to remember, and dark urine. Then we have the post ectoric stage. This can be the recovery stage where the liver starts to heal if possible. So here's your key critical thinking point for this one. The liver can't process that bilirubin like it should. And so this causes that jaundice. It also causes itchy skin in the clay colored stools just because the liver can't function properly it can't process that bilirubin like it should. And that's what leads to that jaundice, itchy skin, and clay color colored stools. And then we have our nursing assessment and the nursing interventions for hepatitis. So you'll wanna get a health history to find the cause if possible. Then abdominal pain is possible, what you would see, abdominal distension, daily weight checks, mental status, assessing their mental status and their skin, looking for that itchy skin again. Lab values, check their liver labs, ALT, AST, and ALP, and then bilirubin. You'll want to palpate the liver gently because it's going to be tender, okay? Hepatitis can be tender in that liver area, so we want to make sure that we palpate gently. And then we've got the nursing interventions that you'll do. So for a patient with hepatitis, we want to keep them in a single patient room. This is a virus. And then high-carb, low-fat diet to help them heal. We want to give medications as prescribed. These could be antivirals, antiemetics, and TPN, total parenteral nutrition, to make sure that they're getting the nutrition that they need to heal. Then educating them, proper hand washing, not sharing hygiene tools or food or utensils, no medications that can damage the liver. So we want to look at their medications and see what they're on and see if they're hepatotoxic or toxic to the liver. And then no alcohol and no donating blood.